So the pair short programs complete. We turn our attention to the men. They're already on the ice warming up for their short programs and a number of skaters making their Grand Prix debuts here in Germany, including 17-year-old Yevgeny Plashenko of Russia. The reigning world silver medalist. Could this be the year that he overtakes fellow Russian Alexei Yagudin at the top? From China, Zheng Xin Guo, the Chinese representative at the World Championships last season, known for his jumps, known for his quad jumps, and he has one plan here in the short program. And from Los Angeles, the reigning U.S. silver medalist, Trifin Zavanovich, on the ice warming up, trying to get off to a great start on this young season. The men's short programs when we return to Gelsenkirchen, Germany. Welcome back to Gelsenkirchen, Germany. The night lights illuminating this city of about 300,000. The third stop in the ISU Grand Prix of Figure Skating Nations Cup continues inside Emscher Lippe Hall on the outskirts of town. The men on the ice warming up, getting ready for their short programs. Terry Gannon, Peter Carruthers. And let's take a look right now at the current Grand Prix standings. Elvis Stoiko, through two events, leads with 16 points. Alexei Yagudin, with the win at Skate Canada, has 12. And on down the line, Timothy Gable in third place. Matthew Savoy, the skater from the U.S. who is here in seventh place with four points right now. Well, here's a look at the eight required elements packed with jumps, spins, and steps. The men can do a double or a triple axle, a triple or quadruple jump, jump combination, flying spin, a camel spin or sit spin, a spin combination, and then two step sequences. Representing Russia, so this men's short program gets underway with the favorite and perhaps one of the favorites to capture gold at the world championships later this season the reigning russian national champion who finished right behind countryman alexei yagudin at worlds a year ago yevgeny plashenko A really difficult piece of music to skate to. It's the saber dance, very fast, and he'll go after the big quad in the first 30 seconds of the program. Wants to start things right here. Only a triple. However, no deduction, because you can do a triple or a quad, but usually we see him rotate that as a quad. Triple axle, something's wrong. He's stopping. Something is wrong with his left skate. It looks like he's working on the blade of his left skate. That or his lace, uh, I can see it, his lace came undone. Yep. Yeah. So Yevgeny Plashenko able to go over and have a word with the judges. They'll stop his music obviously in a moment here. And now they have to make a decision as to what the next step will be, whether he will start over again, which in all likelihood that will be the situation. He's being advised by the referee. And his music continues as he talks it over with the referee. And she gives him his options here. Apparently, his lace has popped off the first eyelet. Once that happens, you lose all support in your skate. Taking the boot cover off, and that's it, yes. You can see the lace off to the side. That lace should be in the center of the boot. That's a disaster for a skater when that happens. No chance to have any support in the boot. So Yevgeny, after talking to the referee, will go back and get that skate worked on, and most likely they'll let him come back and start his program once again. We will keep you posted, though. An unusual start to the season, to say the least, for Yevgeny Plashenko. We'll be back. Back inside the Emscher Lippe Hall where we have gotten word that Yevgeny Plushenko will indeed be allowed to come back after a change of equipment. The repair of the ringlet on his boot. 
and he will be allowed to start his short program from the beginning. But here is the 24-year-old from Los Angeles, the reigning U.S. silver medalist, Trifin Zivanovic. And you can see he's totally in character with the costume, but what he's really looking for are the eight required elements. He'll skate footwork steps right into the opening triple lutz. This sets the tone. Oh, a little bit off balance, but no problem in terms of having a clean landing without a deduction. Now, the all-important triple axle, triple toe loop, and you can see he just came to a grinding halt on the first jump. It made it difficult to do the second. He only did a double toe loop. However, that is acceptable for the men can do triple-triple or a double and a triple in the combination. silver medal. You may remember his coach, Gary Visconti, banging the skate blades on the boards as he won that medal. He left Gary for some time over the summer, worked with Doug Lee, former coach of Elvis Stoiko, but is now back working with Visconti. One jump left, it is the double axle. It should be fairly easy for him for he did just complete a triple. No problem. Spin combination. Remember they have to perform six revolutions on each foot. So the first effort of the new season for Trifon Zivanovic, the 24-year-old, who made his first trip to the World Championships last year and placed 16th. One of the things he wants to do is get up high in the air, but get good coverage across the ice. Watch how he really slows down here and then curves around the corner, and that makes it difficult to do a big triple, so he opts for a double. However, no deduction. 5.0, 4.1. So Four Triffin now eight. taking a look Four at the seven. first of Four two sets of seven. marks along with his coach. Derek Visconti sits right next to him. Imagine that Four from 4.1 Four 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 up to a 5.2. What a range. And now the second set for presentation. And a wide range there too, but not nearly as much. 4.7 up to a 5.2 as well. USA was the 4.1 and Japan was the 5.2. We'll have more of the men's short program when we return to Germany. So here's the 23-year-old from Harbin, China. Zhengzhen Guo, who finished seventh at the World Championships a year ago, the lone male to represent China at the Worlds last season. Chinese champion from 1997. And he has quad planned within his short program. And is known for getting up in the air. One thing to remember about the Chinese, they never hold back, whether you're talking about pairs, singles, they attack all of their jumps. First opening, triple axle, triple toe. Look at the quick rotation, very solid.
now he's got the quad toe loop planned. It will be the left foot that jabs into the ice that will send him into the air. Right there. Ho ho! First one that we have seen. Remember at the 97 Worlds, which we mentioned a short time ago, Zheng Jin Guo became the first skater to complete two quadruple jumps in one program. That has since been passed by Timothy Gable, who had three in his free skate at Skate America this season. It's just incredible how these men incorporate these difficult quads into their programs. Good height on the death drop. Easy double axle for him. Only two and a half rotations there. Just think of it, quad four in under a second, such explosive power needed. Six spin. Actually, that spin could be a little lower and a little faster. We want to improve that. But if you weigh out the whole program, a very strong performance in this men's competition. An important start. Every competition will be important for Zheng Jin Guo this year because his big, biggest obstacle, perhaps, to the world championships, his countryman, Zheng Jin Li, who we saw at Skate Canada, vying for that spot at Worlds. Here's the big quad. Again, using that left foot to get him up into the air. He's nice and straight. Tight arms to create the rotation. Very solid, nice one foot landing. Doesn't get much better than that. So let's see what the judges thought of Zheng Jing Guo of China. Remember, Trippin Zabonovich in the lead in terms of those that have skated over Andre Vlashenko. First set of marks, 5.6 to 5.8. Those are the best by far that we've seen. A very solid performance and the judges knowing that he was clean, no mistakes. And Peter, the second set now, 5.3 up to 5.7. And that solidly puts Guo in the lead over Trippin Zivanovich. Yevgeny Plushenko set to go once again. He'll take the ice when we come back and he will be allowed to start at the beginning of his short program. Next is Gaye Osman representing Russia. Yevgeny Plushenko. Back at Nations Cup here in Germany and deja vu all over again. Yevgeny Plushenko back out onto the ice. The first skater to take the ice here. The men's short program had a problem with his boot, actually the lace. The eye hole broke and it popped out, able to go back, get that fixed, and now here he is with his short program. Now, let's see how he handles that distraction. Can he get his focus back? Can he skate without mistakes? And remember, he tried the quad and did not do it. He did a triple the first time around. That's right, due to the problems with his skates, but still, he may be a little unnerved. Slight two-foot landing on that quadruple jump. Not quite the height that we usually see from them, from him on that jump. Now the triple axle, triple toe. There's the first. Very solid technique. Good coverage, good height. Flying camel, that's his flying spin. Minimum eight revolutions. And you can see how he grabs his foot. That's hard to do with the centrifugal force. Little bonus there.
up with the spin combination and look at the Fieldman spin. We've seen it before with Plasheko. His great flexibility allows him that position. Well, he started the competition off with an equipment problem. Got off the ice and then returned to the ice, not to perfection for he two-footed his quadruple toe loop. But the 17-year-old showing some poise, coming back and having a solid performance in this, the first event of the new season. Yevgeny Plashenko, the reigning world silver medalist. Judges want to see great rotation, but they also want to see good height and a clean landing, not two feet. You can see that foot just touched down there, how that left foot tapped in. So he'll take a hit for that on the first mark. And now the triple axle, three and a half times. Axel always taking off forwards. He has great knee bend to allow him the height that he needs for the rotation on the second jump. Good job. Zheng Xin Guo of China in the lead over Trifon Jovanovic and Andrei Vlashenko. Let's see what the judges thought of Yevgeny Plashenko. 5.6 up to 5.8 for required elements. His own Russian judge definitely taking the deduction on the first mark. His coach, Alexei Mishin, also coach of Alexei Romanov, former coach of Alexei Yagudin. Now the second set, a little bit higher, 5.7 up to 5.9 for presentation. The judge is so much appreciating his presentation. So it's Plushenko who grabs the lead over Zheng Jin Guo of China. Yamato Tamura. Back at Nations Cup, an odd start to this men's short program. A do-over, in effect, for Yevgeny Plushenko after the first 30 or so seconds of his program. He's in the lead over Zheng Jin Guo of China and Trifon Zivanovic as Yamato Tomoro of Japan takes the ice. The Japanese champion in 98 captured the bronze in 99. to the music from the motion picture Crimson Tide. Building up a lot of speed. Opening jump. Quad toe. Yes! Look how solid that was. The trick to that is in the beginning of the program, you don't want to rush your timing. He let it climb to the top, the rotation followed, and that was the result. Look at the bend he gets before the second jump, allowing him to really get up in the air. Outstanding. sit spin close to the ice again on the second spin also pretty good what he's doing is systematically ticking off these elements without rushing him the timing or changing anything from his practice pace He makes it look easy. Great height. A 
he's got to be happy with that. Wow, 20 years of age from Miyagi, Japan. Did not even make it to the World Championships a year ago. He finished 26th in 98. What a defining short program this has been for him to try to challenge the leaders at the top. Yamato Tamura. He had great height on this quad. Let's check to see that he doesn't touch down and have a two-foot landing. There's one, two, three, four. Look for the left foot. It didn't appear to me that he touched down, but very close. 5.7. The judges do not have the benefit of instant replay here. They had it for the first time last season, and we'll have it at Europeans and Worlds this season. First set of marks, 5.1 from the U.S. judge up to a 5.7. That's a wide range, Peter. <laughs> yeah, you bring up such a good point, and that, I think, has to every bit to do with the replay because 5.1 low, obviously, they thought maybe a two-foot for the USA mm -hmm. judge, and up to 5.7, giving full credit for the quad. And on the marks for presentation, 5.3 up to 5.6, and Yamato Tamura of Japan breaks into the top three. He's in third right behind Guo. So here's the final skater of the men's short program. 19 years of age from Peoria, Illinois, Matt Savoy. Finished fourth at the U.S. Nationals last season. Terry, with all the mistakes that we have seen in this men's short program, he really has an opportunity. If he can land his triple axle combination, This is the second event of the Grand Prix for Matt. He finished fifth at Skate America. Now he really has an opportunity here. If he can hit his triple flip, triple toe combination, and first this triple axle, with all the mistakes that we've seen, he might find himself higher than he thought he would be at the beginning of this competition. Here it is, the triple flip, followed up by a triple toe loop. Mm. The name of the game right now is to not make mistakes, and so many have happened. Nice low sit spin, hard to get down that low because it's a lot of stress on the leg. Look at the footwork now, going into the triple Lutz. Whoa! spin to the sit spin again another nice low position well you mentioned it the opportunity was there when he took the ice absolutely and even though he didn't go after the big quad, not the point. The point is, with the short program, you want to get away without what? Deductions. Absolutely. Solid, solid start. With a 4.0 biology major at Bradley University at his hometown of Peoria. And we will wait and see what the judges thought. Hey, I have to give him a lot of credit. Look at this triple flip. Right foot vaults him into the air and then and follows through with a pretty decent triple toe loop. He needs to get more run out on the landing. It was kind of coming to a stop at that point. Now, triple Lutz. 
just fine there, except he almost lost it, but the determination carries him through. Something he does well is this. Look how low to the ice he is in the sit spin. And then the variation in position. Well, trying to break into at least the top four or five. Right now, Plushenko, Guo, tomorrow your top three. Zivanovic of the U.S. in fourth place. And the first set of marks for Matt Savoy. There they are for required elements. Well, we'll have to see how this plays out, but the bottom line is he skated a good performance in terms of not making mistakes. And now the marks for presentation, Peter, 4.8 to 5.3. So Savoy able to move into fourth place ahead of his countryman. Trifon Zivanovic drops to fifth. So it wasn't always pretty, but there's your men's short program. The false start for Plushenko, but then he skates on top. He leads Zheng Jinguo of China, then Yamato Tomuro, the surprise third-place finish in the short program, just ahead of the two Americans. Don't forget, the finals of men's competition comes your way Sunday afternoon over on ABC Sports, starting at 4 o'clock Eastern time, along with the ladies' free skate. Coming up next, the original dance when we return to the Nations Cup competition here in Gelsenkirchen, Germany.